let's come back and see one more numerical in Faraday's law. Let's see. What do they give us? <clears throat> they've given me a solution of copper sulfate is electrolyzed for 10 minutes. Okay, they've given me the time. Okay, let us write that first. Given that uh, time is 10 minutes. Okay, convert it into seconds always. Or oh, if I have to convert, this is equal to 600 seconds, isn't it? Okay, done. Now, with the current of 1.5 amperes, I, uh, your I is given to me, that is 1.5 amperes. What is the mass of copper deposited in cathode? Okay, let us write one formula directly. So, mass according to first law, right, not capital M, smaller, is equal to, it's written by the formula, <coughs> atomic weight into current into time by valency into 96,500. There is one formula like this. You can directly apply it for calculating mass. So, what is the atomic weight of copper? 63, the AMU or grams into C. What is current equal to? How should I calculate? We have already know Q is equal to I into T. So, Q is equal to I e is 1.5 into 600 seconds. This is equal to 900 coulombs. So, you can write this. Directly, you could also you can apply 1.5 into 600 seconds divided by, now, okay, 96,500 is like that only. Now, what is valency? Yes, now I have to see how many are exchanged. Now, in copper sulfate, when it breaks up, we very well know CuSO4 breaks up into Cu plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2. Done. Now, copper, Cu plus 2, this is an aqueous state, picks up these two electrons and forms copper solid, that is your metal. How many electrons? What is the valency now? 2. Plus 2 is the valency. So, 2. Done. So, when I solve this, I get an answer of 0 0.29 three grams so this is how you can directly calculate the mass using first law of faraday